Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I am back with another homeschooling STEM video and in this video I wanted to share with you guys this book, it's called Math Art, Hands on Math Activities for Grades 2, 3, and 4. I am really loving this book. It is um, just really well done and they have some really cool um, like hands-on like arts and crafts activities for you to do with your child to give them a better, better understanding of math. Um, money is something that my kids have struggled with in the past and I really love this um, art project that you do with the kids with math and it basically shows um, five ways to have uh, 100 cents and so when your, ch when your child gets finished with the project what they will have done is they will have created a grid um, where they start with, you know, they color the middle in green, that's going to be a dollar, and then four quarters around the sides, and then 10 dimes are going to go next, and then 20 nickels, and then 100 pennies. But the thing that's really cool is that your child, they're going to put all those in their cell by like tracing the pennies around and coloring them in. And yeah, it's, it's time consuming, and it's probably going to be a project that takes them not one day but two or three days to do but after that they really have a really firm grasp of oh, okay this is what makes a quarter this is the because they trace a real you can do a real quarter or um, just the plastic ones they're going to trace the size so they're going to understand the size difference between the quarter the dime and the, and the nickel and they're also going to be able to kind of have some some really good um, time with it and they can color it appropriately if they want they can try to draw the faces so it's just an opportunity to get them really acquainted with money as opposed to you know more and more and more repetition of, of math problems where they do the money this is just a really good art project for it other art projects that are in the book like uh, fraction wheels are shown where your child will do different you know uh, fractions with with a circle um, and they have uh, some other projects like inch measurements that they'll do um, and I mean there were just tons place value project that I really uh, liked uh, triangles or prisms you know showing your child how to make their own prisms so they can see things hands on and um, a scale map so your child will make their own scale map to understand you know the scale of things another thing that I really like about this book is that the templates are in the back for all the projects so all you do is print you know make a copy of the template and you can do the projects however you want to it walks you through how to do the projects what you need to do ahead of time that sort of stuff it's for you know it was written for use in a classroom setting but doesn't matter I think it's still really great and really appropriate for homeschool students it talks about how to do the projects and, and stuff and because I'm not a creative person so the fact that this book has it all laid out is really good for me um, another thing that at first I didn't like because it was in black and white you know I was like oh I want to see how it looks in color but because the templates are there I completely understand why it's black and white because you're going to be you know your children and you are going to be creating this these projects so you don't need somebody else's interpretation of it which is really cool and I love you know some of the projects they're they're 3d I'm trying to find a page real quick I should have uh, bookmark some of these pages that are in 3d but some you know not all the projects are flat some of the projects you know they'll do things in 3d and stuff like like the prisms that I showed you guys so it's really cool it's really neat if you are not a Pinterest person or if you're not good at finding a, a lot of d different hands-on things online this book is great if you are a Pinterest guru or if you are somebody who finds a lot of stuff online you probably have seen a lot of these projects so you can probably you know find them on your own and you don't necessarily need to buy the book but if you would like to have all the templates available for you to copy then this is a great book again it's math art hands-on math activities for grades second third and fourth by Zachary Brewer and um, it 
again it's just lots of really cool hands-on stuff um i'm excited to get started with it um and and let my kids kind of explore and, and grow with the book so this is dr j and i'm out thanks a lot bye bye